Hey, everybody. I'm not here today. Told you that yesterday, and I told you that I was going to put a video on about what you needed to get done. So here's what the sub plans look like. You have a copy of these in Google Classroom. You should already be in Google Classroom if you're watching this because I put a link on there as well for the video. Uh, every class is a little bit different because we're in different spots. Um, this should also be seen in our weekly agenda. So the weekly agenda looks different for everybody too. I'm going to update the agenda before I leave today, Thursday, so that it is actually specifically updated for every single group. So here's what you're doing. Number one, you have to take your oil formative assessment. That's every class, periods two, four, and eight. You need to take that oil formative assessment. Uh, it will look something like this. It should have uh, little banners at the top, and it's going to be between 20 and 25 questions. You'll get your score back immediately after you're done. When you are done, you need to make sure that you take that. Uh, you need to make sure that you go up to the substitute and get a 50 states test. After your 50 states test, um, then you get a little bit of student choice. A couple reminders, though, about the 50 states test. Number one, put your name on it, first and last name. Got to put it on. If you don't, I'm throwing it in the trash. Okay. At the top, also make sure that you put October so that we know that they, this is your October test. Uh, when you finish, I will have answer keys over at the sink and also by the bookcase or pencil sharpener. Grade your own, put your score in the upper right hand corner uh, in that empty space right below the word America. Uh, make sure you put the number correct and circle it. Okay, we've done this before, so this shouldn't be uh, too difficult to do. When you're finished, hand that to the substitute. Please make sure uh, that they get it. Remember, you're just trying to improve. This is not a graded assignment. Oil formative is a graded assignment. 50, 50 states is not a graded assignment. Okay, once you're done that, that should probably leave you with about 15, 20, 25 minutes left in class. You have some choices. Uh, periods two and four, you both have fan school. You can check out the leaderboard, try to make some trades, watch the weekly review video. I've put that link in the uh, agenda as well. So theweek.com, we'll try to find the most recent video and check that out. Your Fan School Friday link is right there. That should take you to Fan School and you can see what place you're in. Hopefully you're not winning and hopefully I am. Uh, all three classes, periods two, four, and eight, can also work on Beluga. And I would work on answering some of the questions in your profile. So again, if you take a look at our weekly agenda, Beluga, which is going to be every Friday, I'm going to give you 10 to 15 minutes to work on answering some of those questions. I have some really neat features to show you, but I have to wait until next Friday to show you those uh, till I'm back. So that's another option that you can do. Flipgrid. You need to make a recording for me. It's our oil Flipgrid. If I click on the link right here, it'll take me to Flipgrid. And you will see a video of this good looking gentleman right here. Uh, if you play that video, it's going to tell you essentially the same thing that you read right here. You are going to be answering a question about why the U.S. is dependent on this region. You have all those things that we worked on. Uh, during the rotations that you can use as a resource. Please be sure, and I put this in our notes, write a little short, use a quarter sheet of paper, write something down about what you want to say so that you don't just go into it and wing it. Okay, please make sure that you use your time wisely. It's not, uh, 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 um, I'm not sure. Let me start again. Try to record it one time, once and done. It shouldn't be uh, that long of a recording. Uh, make sure if you go to the hallway to record, you sit apart from each other so that uh, we don't have audio issues. You can use your computer or your phone. I think the phone is the best option. Easy to download. The app's right there. You just need to have the code, uh, which is right here at the top of the screen. Okay, so please make sure that you uh, work on that if you can. That's going to be due next Thursday. I know it says Friday right now on the agenda. I'm going to change that and update it on Remind as well. And then periods two and eight, we talked a little bit about sketch noting. Um, I would strongly suggest you start doing some sketch notes uh, for government. Start uh, using that to help yourself out and understanding the concept of it. If I go into my Google Classroom, uh, period two has the examples right now. Let me pull up one for you. This was an example of a sketch note somebody did for Africa. It is something different for everybody. Okay, so when this person did it, uh, they had certain things that they wanted to draw out 
that somebody else didn't. For instance, let me show you another example. Uh, that example is very different than, say, this example. So however you can help yourself remember the information on government, that's what you're writing out, that's what you're drawing, and um, it'll be a good study guide for you when we get closer to that quiz. Um, I think it goes without saying, uh, please make sure that you are on your best behavior. I expect, I have high expectations for you, and I expect the first two to get done, no question about it. Uh, your flip grid will be due next Thursday. You should be able to get it done in class, and then Beluga and Fan School are just bonus for you. So if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Otherwise, really enjoy your four-day weekend. I hope you uh, really live it up. I will see you when we get back Wednesday, and we will finish our unit by Friday. Hasta mañana. No, I guess that's not right. That'd be see you tomorrow. So however you say, see you soon. Peace out. Take it easy. Safe travels.